Tonight we're here at the St. Martin Parish Animal Shelter with Louise, Tony Compers, and my friend, Deputy Trevor Reeves. We're here helping the director of the shelter with a pretty big dog fighting case that they just got involved with last week. Hey. Are you Michelle? Yes. Oh, hi. I'm Tia. Hi. Nice to hi. meet you. I decided to call Tia because maybe she could help relieve some of the pressure of having the dogs here. If y'all want to see the dogs, I can show Yeah, let's just walk through and see what we're dealing with. And when I met Michelle, I saw a very familiar look in her eyes. She's determined to do everything in her power to help these dogs, but I think also scared that she might not be able to do enough. So all these are from there? Right, every single one. We were notified that they were obtaining a warrant for residents for dog fighting, and that they would need our assistance seizing the dogs and housing the dogs. We showed up on scene, and immediately it was like walking into hell. Oh. Hey. Oh, look. Oh, hey. Hey. Taking them out and putting them on the ground, you know, we realized that they weren't able to walk, uh, so we had to carry them out. We seized uh, 47 fight dogs. They've gone through the most horrific treatment that any animal could ever go through, and yet they're all happy and wagging their tails. And you're looking at some of them with the scars, just so many scars on their face. And you know, you think, wow, you know what? You should hate me right now. You should be attacking me. And they don't, they don't. These dogs here are true pit bulls. I really wish that we could take all of them back to Villalobos, but it's just not physically possible. So now it's time to make some really hard decisions. Because I mean, we could take the little red ones, the little red skinny ones, like there's one in the, little, the one right here. Tom Jones, uh -huh. yeah. he's a sweetheart, okay. he really is. There's really no way to put a value on a dog one over the other. It is just a matter of picking some great dogs amongst a group of great dogs. This is a freedom right, sweetheart. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Tom Jones. You go, come on. Oh, good job, buddy. Yeah, good job, come on. She took the first dog. Um, it was almost like a, a rush of relief, that feeling that, you know, this one is safe. All right. OK. Well, that's one. Yeah, one down. After deciding on Tom Jones, we narrowed it down and made some final picks. Little man. Hey. Oh, he's so little, little cute. Yeah. You? We'll call him Deputy. Yeah. There you go. We saw four little red dogs that looked oh. like they all came from the same litter. And we just thought, you know what? Let's just keep the family together and uh, take all four. Was his name Clank? Clank. Clank it shall be. We're gonna name this one Posh Spice. Okay. <laughs> She's so skinny. Just for you. <laughs> stretch, stretch. Come on, Freedom. Do you remember what you named him? Uh, this one, I believe, is Ruckus. Ruckus? Yeah. <gasps> Uh-oh. You didn't tell me that, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> then we got down to the final spot left in the van. And it was tough. It's like, it's like Sophie's choice. Which one do you take? This is Milo. Oh, Milo. And then this one, the Zeno. Um, I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't choose. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. Don't, oh, don't, you're not helping. You are so not helping. This decision is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And at this point, I don't know how I'm going to make it. What do we do? What do we do? Oh my God, Michelle! <laughs> Dallas. Dallas? Dallas. And without any hesitation, she said Dallas. Okay, hi, little buddy. He's beautiful. Yeah. Um, I got to learn that this particular dog, Dallas, was actually the first dog that they released off the chain. They said when they took all the stuff off, he was still running with his head down. And they said when he took him off the chain, he kind of like, like lift his head up and was amazed by everything he could see. Oh. Look at you. You could just see right away why Dallas was a shelter favorite. His tail was just nonstop wagging and he was so unconditionally happy to see us. And after everything he's been through, we're more than happy to take him back with us. Which one is it? Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> Dallas, you're going, boy! <laughs> 
<laughs> when we brought Dallas out, there was a lot of emotion. The other shelter volunteers just lost it. You know what? They gonna get the best of kids. Please thank you because this was, he was sad. I mean, when you live and work in Pitbull Rescue, you need to have some happy moments. <laughs> Gate wide open, doesn't want to come out. But seeing a deputy sheriff's car circling the shelter was a reminder of what the dogs we were leaving behind still had to face. Yeah, so you guys have to have like um, security yeah. here all the time. Yeah. 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 Yes. You know, we've had some 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 really strange activity. Said so you talk to other groups, so they know, and just say if you want, we can you know we can do this whole thing. We put it out there that we took all the dogs, so we can give the illusion that they're not here anymore. Taking these six dogs is just the first step. You know, now I have to hope that the justice system will step in and that these guys go to jail. Oh my God, you're wonderful. Thank you. Uh, these ladies busted their asses to save these dogs. They were the first responders on the scene with the sheriffs. They're the ones that got the dogs off the chains. And it was good seeing them celebrate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was good seeing them cry happy tears. Good job. Hi, guys. How you doing? You OK? Are you OK? With everything that these fighting dogs have been through, it sometimes worries me that they will be able to adapt to their new environment. What do you think? Tail's still wagging. Tail's still wagging. Tail's still wagging. And so far, they all seem to be doing fantastic. These dogs are tough. You know, they're tough emotionally. They're tough physically. They'll get through it. They just need a little TLC, a little time. Hold on, hold on, let me get to this. The thing that makes it really hard about taking in dogs that have been through this kind of abuse is it's a process. So we're gonna, we're gonna have these dogs for a long time before we can adopt them out. You okay? You okay? It's not like we're just taking in a dog that can just turn around and get a home within a few weeks. These dogs have to be worked with. We have to really get to know them. We have to see what their behavior's like. You okay? You settling in? You settling in? Okay, eat your food. You know, are they some of them so dog aggressive that maybe they would not be adoptable? Just various things. Okay. They put them in a part of the warehouse that's a little bit isolated so they don't get overly stimulated into kennels that are stronger than most, just in case. You comfortable? Yeah? Oh, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. We're just going to let them settle in and give them the time and the support that they need. Oh, look, he's going in. Yay! And someday soon, I hope, give them a home that they deserve.